So I recently moved and I think it's time to go ahead and tour the new Mead space. Here's what it looked like before we moved in. Got a couple photos of it, it's pretty empty. And I added quite a few things in order to make it what it is today with backdrops and all this stuff. You've seen the backdrop quite a bit, but you haven't seen the rest of the room. So let's start here. First of all, I got real fancy and um, well, I have lots of different um, tiers of things. I like to display all the things that have been a part of the channel. So you can see in the backdrop, and I'm not gonna spoil all of them because I think it's a little like Easter eggy side of things for my channel. But back here is all things that have been on the channel little knickknacks and stuff that I enjoy. Big neon sign, which I'm really proud of. I think it looks great. Makes this, looks like a more professional studio. We kept the backlighting, of course. And yeah, so I love my backdrop. And I try to get a little fancy because I got tired of hitting buttons. So I have a little remote here that turns everything on and off. And when I'm ready to come in and do my thing, I'm back. So, this is the backdrop. This is a nice bar. I'll go ahead and show you some, uh, some of it. This is the bar, so this is behind it, of course, and it's got a little space underneath here for things, which is really nice. I do have my attachments for my uh, microphones and things right there, so that's uh, kind of what I'm doing here. Of course, there's shelving and everything that I need for that, but this is a bar height. It does have, if you see down below, it does have some foot stools, and of course, I have to have a tripod and everything here. So this is the, the backdrop. And what's going on with that? I do have a bunch of organizing and things right here you can see. So this is where I store a lot of stuff. It's not very pretty looking, that's okay. Even a fork. I don't know why a fork is out right now. That's fun. Here's the view from behind the camera. This is what I look at. This is my cabinetry that I've put in with a countertop, of course. I do have a new air fridge in here. You'll see a lot of new air products in this. I have a drawer here for lots of little things. So it's just assortment of stuff. And then of course on that side, same thing. I like to organize or try to do some organizing down here. So this kind of hides all of my active brews, you can see. So there's a lot of active stuff back here, gallons of carboys and stuff. It just makes this whole space feel a little more controlled whenever you don't have to <laughs> see it. I do have some storage here, of course. Same thing on this side. I am using kind of the top for some stuff, as you can tell. More active brews, all of that stuff, which is great. I wanted to make this as clean as possible so that I could just, when people walk in, they don't necessarily see a bunch of active things, but obviously you can only do so much. A little bit of soundproofing. You can see with some lights, I tried to build this light thing to help me um, mount the lights and get rid of wires. This is what you see from the bar as you walk over here. I have, a rolling countertop. And this is a new fermenter I have. This is the Bruzilla. This thing is uh, 13 or 14 gallons. And right now it's about full of 10. It is a kind of conical fermenter. So it has the stuff at the bottom. I really like this thing. I really wanted to get something bigger. So that's what I have. I've got another fridge. This one is pretty much exclusively used for lagering, cold crashing, doing all those things. So I don't have any shelving in it, which is kind of helpful. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm lagering a brew. Organization, of course. Organization, try to keep all my stuff pretty well organized and put back so that I can find it easier. We do have a little station for glasses and I have a um, microwave down here. So this is helpful, of course, for any time I need microwave things. Got lots of honey buckets around. Next we have a sink and I do have this mirror right here to try and give something on this wall. This is some just peel and stick tile that makes it look a little bit nicer. And I did want to get something interesting, different. When I was trying to clean glasses before, I feel like I'd, uh, I didn't want to hand wash everything. So I found this basically little mini dishwasher and it's just enough for some glassware. You fill it up, up top, and then of course you wash things. Got a big, a utility sink, which is super nice. It's a ton of space for all of my stuff. And uh, we had to tap into the, there's a bathroom on that side of the wall. So we had to tap into that to be able to do this, but it's okay, it looks good. And hot water, I do, well, I avoid putting any large things down here, which is why I have this great. So this utility sink, all of that right there. This is a nice little area, keeps me from having to go into the main kitchen of the house. This is kind of a mess right here, but this is a 
bunch of storage. So cabinets, and I put all of my, a lot of glass carboys and stuff in here. So this is full of glass carboys and honey, honey, glass carboys. Again, I'm hiding stuff as best as I can. I just basically, uh, I need to clean this area up, but it is a holding spot for a lot of stuff. Some new additions. I've had the kegerator for a long time. I've had the keyser for a long time. And so these are not new. I am gonna be changing this system up eventually. And you'll see some updates with that. But four tap kegerator on this side, three tap, I'm sorry, four tap keyser, because this was a freezer, and three tap kegerator. I'm not very organized here, but that's okay. Each one has its own CO2 tank. And then of course the kegerator has its own thing as well. I did recently just add this to my arsenal. So I got a Raspberry Pi and had a friend help me um, use a thing called Taplist IO to show what's on tap instead of just putting things on top, which is not a bad thing to do that, but a little bit different. So you can see what I have on tap right now. I think it's pretty fun, it makes it look nicer. This area behind here is all windows. And so we wanted to do something different. So we added some curtains. So these curtains span the whole wall, basically covering. You can still see a little light coming out of this, but the intent here was to make it kind of dark. And obviously lights in the room don't make it dark, but we were going for a more speakeasy kind of vibe. Kind of last couple things. I did get a nice pub height table. You can see right here. This is uh, six chairs, of course, and it's a great place to sit, sit around. We play D&D &D at this table. We, um, it's just good for, I was bottling things earlier and I used it. And so just kind of a hangout place. We wanted to make it a, a nice place to hang. And so this works out really well. And the last part of the tour, you'll see, this is the cellar. So this is where I store all of my main brews. This is a kind of precarious shelf, as you can tell right here, but it is holding lots of my 375s and beer bottles and all those things. Then I have some more room for glassware. I have a big old wine rack for my wine bottles and I have another wine rack and I store a lot of equipment in here. So I couldn't get rid of all these shelves. I had to use these as well, but this is a nice little cellar. Eventually we're gonna try and climate control this. Having it be climate controlled will be nice um, and it'll allow me to actually keep things, you know, at a nice temp for aging, hopefully. So this is what you see from the cellar on the side, all the way down, really long room. It is a 20 some odd foot room with all of our things here. And then of course, this is what you see from the side. So this is the brew space. It's the new place for me to do all my brewing and my hanging out with people. It is kind of secluded from the rest of the house. So I, there's not any other mead stuff in the house, which is nice and it, it just becomes its own place. So I've really enjoyed getting to create this and I wanna give a huge shout out to all my patrons and my YouTube members because part of this is, this is not, you know, none of this was free. This bar wasn't free, I wish it was, but a lot of this costs some money. And so the support that I get from you guys has helped me be able to do that. And I hope you see that your money does go, go somewhere to uh, help the channel and this is, us. This is the next stage of the Man Made Mead channel. I've got a lot of fun videos and I'm super excited to share. I'd love to hear what your brew, brew rooms look like, um, what you like about mine or what you don't like. You know, leave some uh, comments below, but I'd love to chat with you. Hop in the Discord and uh, we can talk even more and I'll see you there. Cheers. Cheers.